going on guys? Uh, today we're actually uh, kind of going through some questions that we've been having on the uh, 6 liter um, EGR kit. Uh, as you can see right here, what I got the screwdriver on, that is the actual J tube. You can actually see where it hooks up and under the turbo, that's why you got to remove the turbo. Um, we're actually also um, going through a couple things that you guys have been having problems with, like no boost issues. Um, as you can see right here is the actual um, map sensor that we actually have on the truck right here. This tube runs all the way down through here and here's where it ends. And it goes into the manifold and senses manifold absolute pressure. Um, another tube that a lot of you guys do miss is this tube here. Uh, that'll actually throw a code in the truck where this is the uh, positive crankcase ventilation system it goes into the actual turbo as you can see um, if you leave this hose off uh, it will get unmetered air and the truck will not run right well, guys uh, I actually have a six liter intake here and uh, I'm going to show you guys where the EGR cooler is and how it mounts the, uh, the bypass that we make uh, it's just the aluminum J tube blue steel that you, we uh, sell. As you can see, I got it facing like you would see it in the truck itself. Uh, the intake comes off here. The map sensor plugs up there. You also have a coolant hose running to the actual coolant reservoir here. If we flip this thing over, you can see where the actual EGR cooler went at one time. It mounts here, and then also goes to the exhaust. Uh, our bypass mounts in like so. Make sure it sits flush and that the O-ring is not damaged. If you actually take this O-ring and lube it up with a little bit of Vaseline, it will slide in much easier than it will dry, of course. Um, then you have two bolts from the top. You bolt this guy down and uh, then your tube comes on here to bypass everything. And uh, you're on your way to putting your truck back together.